Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a navigation form for your database. So I'm in the workforce database that I've been working on over the past few weeks, and I've got some queries, I've got some forms, and I've got some reports. Now I want to create a form that will allow me to manage quickly these, so I don't need to even have this navigation pane displayed at all. So to do that, you create a form and I'm going to go form design straight away I don't want it attached to anything so I don't need to come across here to attach it it's just going to be a blank form and on it I'm going to have some command buttons which are going to navigate me through various uh, of these other objects forms and reports mainly I mean, and and query now up on the top on the ribbon in this area on the form design you have this ticked. This will bring up, when I, when I create a command button, this will start the wizard. So make sure that is on, it is on normally by default. So the, here is the command button that I want. So I click on that and I just draw a rectangle and it starts that wizard I've just pointed out. So let's have a look at the, doing a report operation first. So you've got report operation and then you've got preview report or you could send report to a file or you could mail the report and it would start off Outlook or whatever mail package you use but I'm just going to preview this one go next gives you a list of your reports that you have so I'll leave it on the first one and I'll go next now you've got the option here to have a picture or type something so I'm just going to um, put what the report is there and it's just called stats so I'll just put that in there and then you can go next or finish at this point so I'll go finish and just make that a little bit bigger that button it's tiny now if I save this and I'll call this main menu because this is going to be my main menu now there are automatic ways of doing this in, in access you can get this done for you but I like to do it myself now if I view the form and click that button it opens the report there you go there's the report I'll close the report now if I do that again if I go back into design and do another button and do exactly the same report but this time I'll send it I will send it as an email report mail report and that's the same one yeah and then next so I'll call it mail stats so we're going to mail the stats and then finish. Now you can see this is now not the same size. So you can go to arrange and select tabular and then they become a similar size. That one's massive. I'm not faffing about with it. So now if I save this and then go to have a look, mail stats, it's giving me this option of what, what do I want this to be, Excel? Oh, I want this to be a PDF actually and then OK and then that will open up um, Outlook and attach it to an email and then you can address that to whoever you want it to go to so I'll just bring the window on it's just opened on a different screen so there's that file or that report should I say and it's ready for me to address this email so I'll just close that down so that one works and let's go back into design on this form and have a look at some of the other options. So if I do another command button, this time I'll go for form operations and then open form next. And then it gives you the list of the forms that you've got there. So I'll go for that. I'll go for projects actually. Next. Open the form to show all the records. Yeah. Next. Open projects. Projects form I'll put so I know what it is and then I'm just going to go finish then I highlight those again go to arrange stacked keep them nice and neat save the form go back to form design and view open projects then it opens project now on the projects form what I need is a, is a command button to close this down when I finished because remember if you leave forms open with records pending, they are not in the database until the form is, or somebody's tabbed off the record onto a new one or the form is closed. So if I go into design on this one and then create a button on this one, 
and then all I'll do here is just select close so form operations close form and then go next and I'll just tick that option there so it just says close form and then finish there she blows have a look close form now that's only asking about the design which I do want to save because I've just put a button on there normally that won't ask me and I'll just show you that so if I open that again it just closes so that will only ask you if you've done something to this form so you've created another uh, box somewhere or you've typed something in, in design otherwise that doesn't ask you that so that's that one let's go back into design again let's create another command button let's go over this side so what we've got left we've got form report application that's just about quit I'm not going to do that because it does what it says on the tin closes access down miscellaneous run macro we haven't got macros yet um, print table not bothered about that but run query we've got a few queries so let's go for that one and again you see the list so query budgets I can't remember what that is but that'll go for, I'll go for that and then you've got query budgets wherever that is and then finish and then save view run query budgets and there's the query now you don't get a button to close this down it's just there there you go then go back into design do another button so you can have a button that opens a form that is another navigational form um, so form operations there could be another navigational form you don't normally print forms off to be honest but some people do in access I don't know why because they should be printing off reports but obviously you can print a form, a form off if you want so I'll just do another open form and then that'll be it so open form next um, form projects next yep and then open form projects projects finish let's see what happens if I do this let's get them all over on the same side arrange stacked nice little stack there save back to form design view open form projects click on it close one query budget close so I've opened that twice the same one never mind you get the idea so what you've got to make sure is that you do is you make sure if you're opening a form or a query that you close it afterwards see loads of people with access with loads of things open not good practice so make sure you close things down but that's all I want to show you on this little exercise so hopefully you found it useful thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one